Hi everybody, I'm back again with another Hot Toys figure video. This is the latest one I've added to my Avengers line. It's Agent Phil Coulson, played by, I believe, Clark Gregg. What I'm going to do with this video is do a head-to-toe look at the figure, um, go over his accessories, and then just do a couple of simple poses uh, towards the end of the video, rather than just have him standing here. This figure came a few weeks ago when I got my Jarrell figure, along with another figure, which I'll do a video on later. Uh, I haven't had a chance to sort of video these yet, um, or up until now, because I'm having some work done on the house and they finally finished it. So I'll shut up now and give you a head-to-toe look and then go over its accessories. This is virtually straight out of the box, apart from a couple of accessories that I've put on him, which I'll go over in a minute. Uh, it comes with the usual Hot Toys basic stand. He's got five hands. He's got the two relaxed hands that you see him with here. This is how he comes out of the box. He's also got two trigger finger hands, left and right. Uh, you can see it's got the usual Hot Toys high standard in paint apps, different sort of shades on the hands. It's not all painted in one colour, which is great. A lot of um, other ones that scale figures tend to do that. And that's his left hand. Nothing you haven't already seen before. And he's also got this hand, which is used for holding uh, several of his accessories. He has his file, a shield file, a security level 7 or above required. There's actually nothing inside it, cut the blank pages. Um, I suppose you could print out things to put inside, which is probably what I would do at a later stage. Hopefully the camera will focus on this. He's got a mobile phone with a transfer on the front to make it look like the phone is on. And it's got the uh, camera lens on the back and there's the flash so that's a nice little detail on that, this is all plastic on the figure um, is his radio which just clips over his belt that's all plastic as well he has a name tag just about pick it out there, it's got level 7 on it and an actual picture of the, the actual actor. Uh, you just clip that onto his uh, top pocket and on the head I've put the glasses um, I'll show you with those off later when we come over the head and the earpiece which can be a little bit fiddly to put in, it does fall out from time to time um, I would advise against using blue tack or dab of glue anything like that because it will pull the paint off He also has, uh, if I can just find it, two extra hand pegs because they do have a tendency to break. He does have a pistol. I'll just get my hands to it. Here we go. Sorry about the bad camera work. I believe this is a a Glock, I'm not 100% sure, it does have the cock in action spring loaded very nice detail the clip as with virtually all Hot Toys guns does come out, showing you the bullet in the end he comes with these 10 um, collector's cards all of Captain America, because as you know Agent Coulson loves Captain America and you can see the little blood splatters on the corners there where, from the film where he actually got shot and they are double sided on the other side is like a write up um, you can't really pick it out you can't really read it anyway uh, with the naked eye I think it's just a little squiggle to make it look like it's writing on there but all the cards have got that on either side they're um, like a toughened card but uh, be careful with them 
don't mess about with them too much because they probably will bend and also his main accessory is the shield gun secret weapon that they built very nice detailing um, it's only a couple of moving parts the actual gun sight uh, does move along the track a little bit and the stock at the end does pull out a little bit more a little bit stiff on mine um, you can see sort of weathered effect you've got the scrape marks in the paintwork there and the special feature with this is underneath there's a little button press it in and it lights up it is quite bright you can't really see it as well in the daylight but in the darkness it's quite bright so that's basically it for his accessories uh, quite a few so we'll have a look at the figure now starting with the head sculpt as you can see I've got him here with his shades on I'll take the shades off they're quite delicate so be careful very good likeness to the actor great paint apps really nice sculpting uh, Hot Toys are very good at this now there still is the odd head sculpt that's not quite right namely the um, Hugh Jackman Wolverine I'm still not convinced on those uh, but maybe with the new X-Men film out now um, I believe they are going to be doing another Wolverine from that so hopefully they can get the head sculpt right with that one but they're getting there say so, nice paint apps it's painted on hair it's not real hair obviously they only tend to sort of do the real hair with the, the female figures now see all the little veins in the skin it's a bit difficult to pick out with this camera uh, it's not a very good camera but it does look like him very immaculately tailored suit really am impressed with this great tailoring uh, he's got the white shirt and I believe he's got another little shirt underneath um, the tie does feel real great fitting suit nice sort of leathery look to the belt and down to his shoes look like designer leather shoes really nice Hot Toys have done very well with this and he does have underneath uh, just lift it up a little bit you can see he's got some black socks on as well um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy one of these suits on its own and use it for my custom Jason Statham figure from Transporter movie uh, the body underneath, I'm assuming it's a true type body, maybe the very thin version. I think it's the same body that they've used with the Wolverine figure, the latest one. Uh, but it goes perfectly with this guy. I say, very nice looking figure. Uh, I've got no issues with it whatsoever. I am planning on getting the Bruce Banner character at a later date. Um, I've got the two Chitari figures on the way. That's the Foot Soldier and the Commander. I've got the box set from Sideshow. And they've emailed me to say that it will be in stock in about two weeks' time. So expect it to be with me within the next month. And as soon as that arrives, I'll do videos on that. But back to this figure. Just give you another sort of 360 look of the guy and then we'll do a few little poses. Be nothing spectacular. I keep saying I'm going to get one of those turntables. I will have to get one at some point. Um, I think you can buy it from Ikea. Um, but I will be getting one of those. Very, very soon. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, just spotted it now, if I can get his hand up, just about pick it out there, he has a watch as well, really nicely detailed, does look real, you have to clip that onto his hand, best take the hand off and slide it over and then put the hand back on, but he has that as well. 
So I'll pause the video here and put him in a little pose. Okay, just something very simple to start with, nothing too dramatic. Uh, just got his handgun in his hand, sort of leaning back slightly. Um, you are restricted a little bit again with the legs mainly around this area because uh, the trousers tend to be a little bit tight around the crutch. Um, but other than that, pretty good. So nothing too spectacular or awe-inspiring about this pose, but they will get a little bit better as we move on. It's just things I'm just experimenting with, I'm just doing them off the cuff. So when we come back, I'll have him in a better pose than this. Here we have him in another very simple sort of stance. Uh, it's not a very sort of dynamic figure really to sort of pose up. Because he's not really action orientated sort of figure really. Right, so he's just got his gun hand up, his other hand slightly back. Legs slightly open. Uh, I believe people who have done videos on this figure haven't really done major extreme poses. I suppose you know, I mean, you're better off posing him with other figures to make him stand out a bit. Um, but yeah, there you go, nothing major. Um, I'll change the hands over now. I have him holding a couple of other things. But really I just want to show you that you can you can sort of bend the arms up quite a bit quite nicely. Uh, the knees do bend quite nicely as well. Uh, I'll try and do a pose with him sort of a bit more with his legs in future poses. Here I have him lovingly looking at his beloved Captain America cards. As you can see they do fit in the hand quite nicely. Hopefully it will focus. Uh, the camera is a bit bright here today, so you're getting a lot of glare. But you can sort of spread the cards out quite a bit and have them in his hand quite nicely. Um, so I'll just swap these out and put another accessory in his hand. Here you can see that his mobile phone, again, does hold quite nicely in his hand. Nice and tight, doesn't fall out. I will get onto some poses in a little while, but I'll just show you just how the things fit in his hands. That's probably how I will show him with this in his hand, uh, but we'll get to that at the end of the video. Here I've got him holding his gun. Uh, you're better off holding it um, in his right hand on the trigger there, and that's mainly because on this side this is where you've got the handle for holding. It's quite heavy as well. Um, he does tend to sort of lean forward a bit with this. It's quite a heavy accessory. Um, I'm probably not going to show him with the gun. Um, I think it's just too OTT really. But you can see he does hold it quite nicely. I found with my figure as well, um, these pegs are quite loose in the where it connects there into the arm. Um, so with this heavy gun, it tends tend to sort of pull them out a bit. Um, I don't know if that is the same with other people's figures, but it's just something I've noticed with mine. I uh, will do one or two more poses. Um, I know these aren't brilliant poses, but as I say, they're just mainly to show you that he can hold the accessories that he's got. And there are other people out there who do really superb poses. I will try and get better and better at it 
as time goes by. Here I've got him just holding his radio to show that the hand does hold the radio quite nicely. Um, you can see the watch a lot better now. His sleeve is lifted up a bit. Let's just try and get it to focus. It's not focusing. Put the white sheet on the background there to hopefully your camera wouldn't pick it out, but it just seemed to still be focusing on the white sheet, but never mind. Um, got him holding his gun down. As you can see, as I mentioned earlier, it does pull the peg out a little bit because it is quite a heavy accessory. But you can have him holding it down if you wish. Um, I did try to open the legs up a bit, but the trousers just restricted it. They are quite tight in the crutch. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish up with um, the pose I'm going to be showing him in my detolf. And then I'll give you an overall verdict on the figure really. This is basically how I'm going to have him holding his mobile phone up, his gun in his hand, getting his instructions from Nick Fury. with his radio in his belt. Uh, a tip for putting the radio on the belt, it's quite a tight clasp on the back there, so what I did was I got a toothpick, pushed it in the back of the clasp and it opened up the clasp, and you just slip it over the belt. Take the toothpick out and push it down, and it's there. Uh, so that's just a little tip. But that's my Agent Coulson. Yes, um, the poses weren't really poses, I just wanted to show you um, that he can hold the weapons that he's got and the accessories quite nicely. I'm um, sure you can experiment yourself and pose him up. Um, I will try to get better at my poses. Uh, the next figure that hopefully I will be doing will be my Ironmonger. Uh, not Ironmonger, Iron Patriot. I haven't got the Ironmonger, unfortunately. But it'll be Iron Patriot next. So that will be the next figure up for viewing. Um, I'll just give you a 360 again of this guy. So if you are thinking of getting him, you're sort of on the fence. Uh, if you've got the money, go for it. Uh, you won't be disappointed. He's a very, very, very nice figure actually. As with all Hot Toys figures, he looks much better in person. He holds his accessories nicely, no issues with things falling out. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised when you get him. He does look better in the flesh, as I said. And he will look good uh, when I get my Bruce Banner figure. I've also got the um, new Captain America figure, the double pack, with the um, civilian version of him. And what I'll probably do is I'll put all the civilian type versions together. I'll put this guy with Banner, uh, my Tony Stark, when I get the Tony Stark that I want. And the Captain America civilian figure. And a few others. I'll put them all together. They look quite good. Um, just a little bit of news. I'm selling my Jarrell at the moment on eBay. I'm going to be selling my Royce figure as well on eBay. And I'll possibly be selling my um, mechanic version of Tony Stark as well. Uh, this is because I want to get the workshop version of Tony Stark. And there's a possibility that I might sell um, my Sarah Connor as well as Jack Sparrow and Angelica. But I haven't decided on those three yet. But I would definitely be selling Royce on eBay and the Tony Stark. Um, I've got several figures on the way. Hopefully my Ed 209 will be arriving soon with 
Um, I think the next figure that will be arriving will be General Zod. And obviously the two Centaur, the Chitari figures will be coming my way. Um, I think that's about it for the moment. I'm just trying to think what other figures are out there that uh, I've got an older. Oh, the new Thor as well. Hopefully will be coming my way very soon. I've got the um, Sideshow exclusive version. That's the sleeveless version. Um, so I'll be getting him within the next month, month and a half, hopefully. So until my next video, which I say will probably be Iron Patriot, uh, thanks for watching. Sorry that the poses are a bit crap. But as you know, I'm not very good at posing figures. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.